what's going on guys it's me dr digital and today um we're gonna do something i haven't really done in a minute um and that's gonna be looking at a community crunch now we have kind of a decent amount to unpack here the shasta source is kind of its saddle's been fault like basically fully revealed here um and there's a lot of things to talk about so i'm just gonna go ahead and um get the image here and then we'll go in depth into it all right so um as you guys can see there's one thing that's a little bit concerning um and that's the fact that the shasta source saddle is actually tech now i'm not 100 percent sure but i feel like um it wasn't supposed to be tech now obviously it's not 100 percent we, we're not 100 percent certain but if you guys look at the um, top of the saddle here where my magnifying glass is um you can see that it has very like tech elements you got the blue lighting you got the kind of like light gray uh very matte finish look and feel here and that's normally pretty like uh that's pretty much a tech thing right some other things to mention here is that there's kind of a uh command area or a uh yeah just like a command area i guess and as you guys can see it looks like you have some controls and a torpedo launcher I don't exactly see where the torpedoes are shooting out from, but they're somewhere. <laughs> but it looks like we're going to have some sort of, I don't know if you guys have ever played Subnautica, but it looks like we're going to have some sort of like little control station where we'll be able to fire rockets from. Maybe we'll have like a camera that can go behind the saddle. We're not exactly 100% sure on how that will work. But um, yeah, this thing looks pretty massive. Um, it fits a Therizino, looks pretty comfortably. So I'd assume anything that can kind of go through a medium dino gate and maybe things that are a little bit larger will actually be able to fit in the submarine. Um, another thing is the submarine was supposed to be on the top of the Shastasaurus, but they actually moved it down. And um, I guess we'll stop looking at the image here and we'll show you guys what's going on there. So if we go back into the community crunch here. Um, let's just go ahead and look at what it says here. So if you read through um, this paragraph, it looks like that when they tried adjusting the player mechanics, like the movement under the water, um, they ran into some issues. So they didn't want it to be um, the reasons at the, at the bottom. Sorry, it, it looks like because they didn't want to have an area where you'd be partially in and out of the water because I guess that was pretty hard to code. So it makes a lot of sense for them to move the submarine below the saddle. Although I think it would have looked much cooler if it was almost like integrated into the creature. But um, yeah, it looks really good. And honestly, the Shasta Source is probably shaping up to be one of the best new additions from Ark Sended because people have been wanting underwater bases, especially like really good mobile underwater bases. You can technically make a mobile base with like a Plesiosaur or a Mosasaurus, but um, the Mosasaurus is slow, the Plesiosaurus is not really the best tame, and um, obviously you didn't have access to oxygen, so this is going to be a really cool creature, um, and I can't wait to like see how people actually make bases and stuff with it. But um, yeah, it's shaping up to be a pretty cool um, feature, and um, not really going to cover community crunches all that much. I just really wanted to cover this one because this creature looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. English is hard sometimes, guys. Um, but yeah, the creature looks cool. Excited for it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.